Hi everyone. Uh, this is going to be our first video on the properties of exponents. We're going to spend, oh, I don't know, about six or seven uh, short videos on the properties of exponents, limiting our discussion first to positive powers, positive whole number powers, and then we'll move on over to uh, zero power, negative exponents, and fraction or rational exponents. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the first law, the simplest law probably, which is the product of powers. So let's talk about what it means to have x squared times x to the third. We all know that x squared means x times x. We all know that x to the third, here's your x squared, and x to the third means x times x times x. If you take a look at what you've got there now, now you've got one, two, three, four, five x's. So that's x to the fifth. I hope you notice that, and I'll use a different color here, that when you take two and you add three to it, you get five. So that's a pretty simple um, demonstration of what this property is. And again, it's the product of powers, and we can do it algebra. We can show it algebraically as x to the a times x to the b equals x to the a plus b. That's a algebraic definition there or property. So what we're saying is, if you have two out, uh, exponential expressions that have the same base, this x is the base. Uh, and you multiply them together, you add the exponents. It's a pretty simple property, actually. So let's take a look at a, a couple of quick examples. Um, what if I had x squared times x to the eighth? As long as our bases are the same, it's x, and then 2 plus 8 is 10. That was easy. It turns out you could also apply this rule when you apply this rule when you've got zero exponents and negative exponents and fraction exponents. But as I said, we're sticking uh, specifically with positive integer powers for now, um, before we move on to negatives and zeros. Let's just do a couple more examples, and then we'll do the next property in the uh, following video. Um, let's make it a little more complicated. Let's put some different variables in here as bases. How about a to the third? c to the fourth times a to the fifth, c to the seventh. Make sure you're only adding the exponents of those expressions or those uh, terms that have like bases. So you see we have an a. The two exponents on the a are a to the third and a to the fifth. That 3 plus 5 gives us 8. And then our c value, we have c to the 4th plus c to the 7th gives us c to the 11th. So a to the 4th, c to the 11th would be our answer. And as I mentioned, you could do this with negative powers and uh, zero power and even fractional powers, rational powers. Um, but the rule remains the same. If you have two terms that have the same base, then you simply add the exponents. That's our product of powers property. And our next video will do, um, or two videos from now, we'll do the quotient of powers. But for now, that's it on this property. Thanks.